are mucus free. We 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 are mucus free. What's going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome to the Mucus Free Life Podcast. I'm yours truly, Professor Spira, and we have a wonderful, amazing show for you today. My guest today, Q Ortiz, and we're going to be releasing and dropping the new single, the new hit single, Enemas All Day Remix, featuring Professor Spira, and we got a uh, music video for that and we're going to get into it so this is you know gonna be a lot of fun it's been a while since we've had the podcast so i'm very happy to be back and you know i want to keep this going uh weekly uh right now we're going to do it at this time thursday every thursday at six o'clock might move it around at some point and every once in a while might miss a week but you know that's uh that's how we do it though because sometimes you need to take that time to uh to do your anima all day <laughs> but uh so uh so without further ado let's let's bring q on uh introduce you for those of you that uh haven't seen you know q's been on the program a couple times been on the channel if you're involved in the mucus free community you should know him he's does great work puts out great content uh really great with bringing people together in the community you know making it fun making it inviting mm -hmm for new people to join in and so uh but to give a little background on q he was born in uh brooklyn in brooklyn new york and uh, he lost his parents uh at when in 2008 and 2012 and uh, after feeling like he had uh, nothing more to lose he moved out to cali the california in pursuit of being a massage therapist that was like 2012 and he attended the uh, IPSB college and trained in uh, 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 Qigong with uh, acupuncturist Qigong instructor. And uh, it, he was equipped with tools to help people feel better. And, uh, and so that's, you know, th those are the kinds of folks that end up getting into this diet. You know, people that you want to help people, make people feel better. And uh, the, the, the art of being able to move remove obstruction with your hands with uh, on another person you know that's these are like sacred arts but they're not really given a lot of respect and put on that type of mantelpiece but with me they are you know that's that's part of the art form you know you that you're dealing with you because we're talking about these healing therapies so um uh q is very creative he's into or origami rapping dancing uh, uh as hobbies and also got into uh some open mics he was uh, this uh the soul food sessions open mic he's a great uh lyricist and rapper producer making some wonderful music so uh everybody give a warm welcome to q ortiz what's going on brother yo what's happening professor spira mucus free family yo how you doing today man hey man i'm ha hanging hanging in here you know trying trying not to freeze trying not to catch hypothermia <laughs> out here it was like 20 20 20 degrees this morning and i went out for a walk and i bundled up and i'm like yeah i'm gonna go out for a walk i need to get go walk and uh man you know it was uh yeah my, i was happy to get back in my house after a half hour but <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know you know how it is but uh how about yeah. you what's what's been going on going on today oh man just went to do some training at the park and clear my mind just been processing then went to the market got some fresh vegetables because i'm in a more veggie mode so and i try to i had a goal of not getting any extra bags 
Mm. So when I recently traveled, we uh, we were noticing that it was trash everywhere and plastic bags were the main culprit. It was one of the main culprits. Like you go to the market and everyone gives you a bag to put your things in and then the food already comes in a bag. So I've been working on just not not getting extra bags. So today I was pretty right. good. Like, yeah, got got that. Got home, made a nice green juice that I'm sipping on right now. Mm. And just, yeah, just doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. And, that, and that'll be an interesting thing that we ought to, I mean, we can talk about a little bit today, but to do, have you really do a video, like an in-depth discussion on the minimalist lifestyle and that whole psychology? Because we, we don't talk too much about that. And so, you know, the minimalism kind of thing, especially as it relates to Mucus's diet practitioner, because I know there's a lot of, you know, I don't know if there's a lot of them, but I've seen minimalist discussions and YouTubers and stuff. But it's like, <laughs> you know, they'll they'll be like, okay, this this is my this is my trash for the year, and they're the min minimalists, and it's like, but but it it'll be like, yeah, but you ate a big steak, like why? What, how how you call yourself a minimalist, and you <laughs> you eating. You know, you eating the stuff that's that that takes you know all the water it takes and the pollution <laughs> and all the problems with eating the dead animal flesh, but you're a minimalist. Yeah. All right. You know, good. Good luck with with that. But how well, how long have you really been in? Use that mindset, kind of the minimalism mindset. Man, it was. Let's see. About two. This is two now. Yeah, may, like close, close to three years, like two, three years. It was when I was moving out of my last place. So and already with the Qigong, it is a work of refinement. So it mm -hmm. does add that element of economy of motion. So mm -hmm. you're working on, OK, how can I be effective with the least movements? And when i was moving out i made it a decision to one like it it ties into finances as well so i was working on reducing my expenses and increasing revenue at this time i had a storage unit mm. that was what you remember i was saying i lived in my car from from back then i was using that storage unit then when I moved into a room, I still had the storage unit that was costing me. Mm -hmm. So went to the storage unit, emptied it out, put everything in my room. So I just had like boxes packed up just in my room, but I could see everything. So now I could I could manage what was in front of me. And during those times i was studying the minimalist studying matt diavella he he's a he's like a film filmmaker and he directed the film the minimalist it's i forget the whole title but the minimalist mm -hmm. they have a documentary so i'm watching that i'm studying marie kondo with the magic art of the life-changing art of tidying up Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then um homie there's a guy ronald banks on youtube like so i'm just studying all these different minimalist characters and personalities on the youtube and that's where i was able to pull different nuggets to where one of the guys of the minimalist he has something called the packing party where mm -hmm. you pack everything that you have leave the pack and you only unpack what you need so when i was moving out at that time this few years ago mm -hmm. i had i'd literally spent a month specifically down like downsizing everything mm -hmm. like reducing all of my items i spent a, a complete month like waking up in in the midst of everything piles of books here pop boxes and was working on it anything mm -hmm. that i felt like i could sell as well because i mentioned increasing revenue i was taking pictures as i was organizing it 
mm. and putting it on offer up. So yeah. then I was just like, uh, people will hit me up to buy the thing. I'll sell it while I'm organizing. So it it was it was a nice process of getting rid of the things and processing all these all these things. So by the time I moved in that December, I was able to to bring everything. And now I live in a situation where everything that I own, like in general, is in this room. And I'm just working yeah, on, yeah. on that refinement. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what's up, man. And I, you know, I I would have work to do because you know I I like my my st the stuff I have. Ev almost everything I have is about creating. You know, it's like creative tools. Yeah. And uh, so, but I got a, I got a lot of them. <laughs> you know, they're 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 hefty. But uh, I did really feel good though when I was uh, on my trip and driving around in the van and just. <clears throat> definitely the next time I go on my van trip, it'll be way more refined, you know, cause I was, you know, there's, and that's the only way you really figure it out is you got to go do it, like get in your vehicle and go live in the vehicle for a while. And you yeah. find out what you don't need that you brought. Cause you're like, oh, I could bring this and let me, you know, I'll use this. And then you're like, nah, you probably eh, might, might, you might not need to bring your trampoline, leave that for now you know it's like that. you don't really have room for that you know, you know you're trying to be minimalistic so and yeah. uh but yeah that's uh uh that's that's what's up but that that's the direction that you know we all need to go in more in terms of just learning how to let go of stuff get rid of things that you don't need if you, you know if you don't need it you know we don't need this accumulation of of dross as Eric might say, you know, there's an accumulation of just waste. Uh, and so many of us live our lives. It's interesting because there's, you definitely have like, there's the hoard, the hoarder tradition. And so folks that kind of live in that kind of environment was just all this stuff. They're never going to ever touch again. They don't, but if you throw it away or you suggest that, Hey, this magazine from 1970, can, can I, can I toss this? Like, no, <laughs> there might be a recipe in there. Don't too, don't throw that away. You know, there's um, there's that model. But then there's also the the suburbanite model of you know folks totally filthy inside, but they have these immaculate surroundings and homes like they just is perfect and it and it and it like you know and they are very uncomfortable if something is not in the right place. You know, yeah. And sometimes those are the folks that. They have they can have trouble getting into the diet because because that you can't have that perfectionism. Like if they they start transferring that and they if they feel like they when they, as they learn how filthy they are, you know, or how sick we are they they get obsessed. And then that's where you can do kind of this over cleaning and that that type of thing that I'm that I have to rein people in. Like, don't even be that. Don't be that aggressive, you know, like just, <laughs> you know, just take it easy. Yeah. Um, but I, I noticed that that tendency uh, with folks on that side of the of the arena. But, you know, it's it's, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting how, how this stuff goes down. Though. Yeah. And it like even still, man, I'm I'm working on I'm working on it. It's like the transition, just continual refinement, like seeing I also have like a print like certain principles that I work with regarding the the minimizing and what I bring in and one of my intentions was to have it foldable and lightweight lightweight foldable like I wanted mm -hmm. those to be just like main things some things I can't have that like say like an amp right it's it's not a foldable amp or like the cajon, my box drum, it's not foldable. I'm, I was thinking about that idea though. So, so for the maker, like, hey, check out, a, try to make a foldable cajon. But mm -hmm. the, the um, even, even with that, it's like, okay, but I'll have a lightweight amp. I'll have a lightweight cajon. And the main intention I was sharing was that I could handle anything in my room. 
Mm. So it wouldn't be like if I needed to move, all I would do is rent the U-Haul or rent a van or truck or whatever. And I would be able to handle everything that's in my room. I wouldn't need anyone to come help with the couch, help with the the big cabinet, like everything in my room. One person can deal with that. Mm. And I've yeah. So I've moved many. <laughs> I've moved different people out of their houses. And it's like, yeah, you get a backache. You sit in there trying to help them with their beds and like yeah yeah heavy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i i try to i just learn from that like those are different uh different things i've learned from yeah like, oh yeah i don't want to do that how how am i trying to move i'm trying to move out in style if i'm if i'm going somewhere yeah 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 <laughs> when it's when it's time to go you can just like I, yeah yeah a couple couple bags and <laughs> you out, you know? yeah. Yeah. but yeah. the music things though those build up for sure i know what you mean about the creative tools because especially like for someone like you it's like you're you're trying to you're revolutionizing the music so it's not just like oh let me just play the trombone even though you'll do that but you'll play right. it and then you add effects to it and then you'll add some some keys to that and then right. uh, do bass lines on on the on the trombone with the different effects so it's like yeah it's like you need these different tools to be able to yeah yeah, carry, yeah. You know, carry out what we're doing right yeah you need a little little bit of you know a little, little bit of room and it really i mean my house is pretty much just set up like a it's like half studio well it's all a studio but there's the, the video studio part and then the uh, the music studio part is all kind of combined into one, and uh, you know, but it's uh, you know just that that artist mentality uh, to me is that's something that I definitely want to talk about more as we move forward, and 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 when we could talk about here because uh, the the artist and, and why is it that you think that oftentimes people that do end up getting into the mucus's diet real deeply and being successful are they're either artists or they have a, like an artist spirit you know an artist mindset like why why do you think that is i think it has to do with the reflective aspect just mm. being able to reflect on yourself where artists get deep into their conscience and and their bodies and their emotions that's the work like just the work of an artist is getting in tune with yourself so as you get deeper in tune with yourself you can choose to explore the art of the diet and see how that affects you, how that affects your consciousness, because it does. It's like what we eat affects how we move, how we think. And if you find that tie, that tie in, it's like hand in hand. Yeah. Like how, yeah. How do, how do you relate with that? I mean, I think that's it. It's that the intro first that you have the the time that it takes to develop your skills mm -hmm. and the kind of solitude. Because to me, there's a mm. un unlocking. If you can conquer loneliness to the point where you don't really experience loneliness in in the old sense of the term, maybe you might feel lonely. See, the thing is, you can feel if, if you can get to the point where you're never lonely when you're by yourself, maybe you can feel lonely around other people, <laughs> you know, in some circumstances when they're just it's like they're Martians kind of happening. Um, that is uh, something. But I don't know something about to me, there, there's. The conquering of loneliness and the cultivation of solitude and being very comfortable with yourself like that and and as an artist even though there's many arts that like music that you do that's a public you know a, a collaborative effort there's a 
many of those arts, you have to develop it by yourself. There's a certain amount of time that you got to spend by yourself before you go and get with other people. Mm. And uh, so to me, that is an element that, that, that that's misunderstood. And I've tried to explain it and I'm not always sure if I'm really getting that message across of like, and, and maybe I am. And, but it's, it's something that to me, it's, it's almost like a secret. It's almost like one of the, one of the little secrets of being real successful with this path is if you can conquer loneliness and cultivate solitude to the point where you really, that's where you be a total peace with yourself. You know, you start to get deep and kind of like what you were referring to of getting to know thyself, that, that part of, because again, you're removing obstruction and get digging deep into where you're at. And if you're really passionate about cultivating those skills and developing yourself on that level, then when the mucus of diet comes down the path, it's just a logical conclusion of the work that you were trying to do. And because, exactly. you know, it's, and I know a lot of musicians that, you know, drink, drink every day, smoke every day, you know, they, they got that kind of cultivated that because there's also an emotional component where, you can start, you can feel so good when you're processing these vibrations and in that, in those moments you get into this like ecstasy level and a lot of artists, like they can't handle coming down from that. And so that's when they start going and to, to try to offset that feeling, you start grabbing the stimulants and the drugs and, you know, just, just try to just, you know, you feeling too good in the moment when you're really making that high art. But, with the mucus diet, that's where that's kind of like mucus diet to the rescue, because now you can ex have those experiences and have and they're even better. But when you're done, it doesn't it doesn't just disappear because you stopped, you know, <laughs> doing your art. It's like so you don't need that offset. Uh, and if you do, it's like then you start getting fasting into it. And now you're talking about a whole different level, a whole different level of art, a whole different level of clarity you know bringing that clarity you know as brother air said to me years ago that that really caught my attention was you know if you want to be a musician or an artist or whatever and that's cool that you want to spend eight eight to ten hours a day practicing your instrument but you that's a waste of time if you don't clean this instrument up you know the real instrument yeah. which is the body and uh and that 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 hit i was like yeah you, you're right about that because you do what you invest in all this time because when i would practice that was you know back i was smoking a lot and uh and it was like so i would be in the practice room i'd probably i practice for like an hour and a half or two hours and then take a smoke break you know and go have my little freak black and mild or you know little little camels or whatever i was into and uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know and uh when I started looking at that, I mean, just that that money. When I even when I was looking at that, because the, the the amount of money that was going out the door with those habits, and that was back in the day. I could imagine what that stuff cost now, like a little little pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I was mad that it was I was spending like because I was going through because at that point I was going through like a pack. I mean, every almost every day, maybe a pack every two days, and so those it was like five bucks or something you yeah. know, for just back. And, uh, if I'm even remember that correctly, but I think it was around five, but then it was starting to go up like seven and stuff. So I have no clue what it is now. I can imagine it's probably something funny. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I was just <laughs> thinking it's like now, now you, you about to have a smoke fast, not you, but like if you smoking cigarettes, it's like either that or food. So like yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you're right, <laughs> right. It's like, okay, you're gonna go get some food, or you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna smoke some <laughs> cigarettes. And um, and that was something where, yeah, with the mucus's diet, you know, getting cleaned up, cleaning myself up. The the desire, like, I'd never tried to force myself to not to quit smoking. I never tried to force myself to get off of eating meat and dairy. Practicing the principles of the system led me to that. It was just the logical conclusion of the work that I was doing where I was like, you know what? I don't, I feel better without that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, so, and, and to me, that's a key. That's key for getting over these addictions. 
to the food, to the added stimulants, the smoke and all that kind of stuff. And uh, looks like uh, Brother Air is tuning in via Facebook live feed. And he says uh, they love the benefits of the death culture. Or so they think. And uh, the death, death culture, that's what we're dealing with out here. And uh, that'd be fun for us to make some time is like a little sh like a short film that's like the kind of like they they live or the the one what was that movie where the guy put on the, the glasses and then he could see like all everybody was like they were aliens and the, w see what the messages really said all the propaganda messages uh, uh you know we, we need the I mucus know. diet uh, version yeah yeah uh, yeah we, we definitely need the mucus diet version of that and uh oh, for sure i think that'll help with the perspective if it's done in a in a wellly executed way right it can it's how you the work that you do when you how you you have a video from the Eric day celebration i believe the first one where mm -hmm. you were saying how it tr your world transforms Mm -hmm. And before you looked at the sign that said, hey, drink this alcohol, we celebrate and eat these burgers, flip these burgers. Then afterwards, you look at it and it's like, hold up. And you said it, you were like, hold up. Hold up. We're celebrating like drinking this like poison. And then <laughs> we, we celebrate him with these grilled up dead carcasses on the grill. And this is like this is supposed to be fun like that this is life like this is the height of life right and it is like that being able to showcase that i think that that could be uh that could be beneficial yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that definitely like uh <clears throat> i still haven't watched it but what but i know you know what this that movie that came out the the get out they got popular. Oh, I haven't seen it also. Yeah. 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 Like I know of the, the plot, you know, and I know that that would work, you know, that kind of thing added to the mucus diet, like get out. And it's like, instead of it being about race, like ours is about like, you know, the pus and mucus world. Mm. And so we're trying to, you know, it's like, Oh, we're, we're comfortable with our little vegan. Then you have to go and, and be with uh, folks and they, they're acting like they're real down with the vegan like hey, i'm down with the vegan and oh yeah yeah and then all of a sudden they're like trying to you know they're at the at the barbecue just just you know, going nuts and you're like you know you, you're trying to trying to get out of there without getting it in, infected with uh with with the with with the idiot virus or <laughs> you know so nutty nutty stuff yeah they live yeah that that that's the one and, oh okay i see yeah yeah so uh that's all so you were talking about what would you say was in your green juice oh i said it's cucumbers celery ginger and lemon yeah this was up and i haven't had a green juice in a while so it was special just going in there. I'm like, first, I knew I wanted to at least start this half of my day not eating because mm. I was already feeling eliminations and all that. And I walked in there thinking like, oh, man, I, I would want some orange juice or like they have some pineapple orange juice too. So good. That apple juice and it's cold press. So I was looking at those, but then my body didn't want them. Like I, I wasn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't really attracted to them. Like in my head, I could go, oh yeah, the, I, um, I want some of that, but because I felt just what was happening in my stomach and, and, um, I could feel like more of the more acids happening. And that's where, like, I felt more acidic waste in my body. Mm -hmm. so that's where i was like let me be honest with myself like be real with myself and i was reflecting on all this too like let me be honest be real with myself and go for the green drink like you know that's beneficial you know that's gonna help you at this 
specific point in your transition don't try to like drink this fruit juice just because it's cool and it tastes good <laughs> it's like right. it, it can exacerbate <clears throat> things if yeah if it's not called for so right. that's where i was happy and I, that's why i'm saying it felt special to just honor honor what you're going through and just using the tool that is appropriate for the moment right yeah right and uh so so we're gonna we're, we'll start transitioning toward the the release of the <laughs> uh the the new single but before you do that uh you can talk a little bit about or we'll give a shout out to your youtube channel if you want to uh encourage everybody to follow q q ortiz you can find him on here and he's got some nice discussions about the mucus's diet healing system talking to other practitioners really covering some important topics and concepts and uh and, and like real is i mean it's really like a little uh little historical nugget you know because it's, it's capturing people's periods of people's transitions and what they're going through because to really understand and learn the depth of this process it's good to have access to people at different points in their transition. Uh, and that's why I try to do that in my book, Spirit Speaks, as far as the case studies. It's like there's people that are at different stages of their transition and you you learn so much because you transform, you know, you every three for me is basically every three years. It was almost like I became a different person in terms of the amount that I would change. And the change in the beginning, it was, there was a lot of external changes. And then over the years, it was like more and more internal. There's still external changes, but yeah, that, that internal, like every three years, it's, there's like these transformations that, that occur. And uh, so it's interesting to kind of, kind of get you a, as you're going through that process. I'm going to play um, uh, a, a little, just a little fir first part of the, of the, of the classic, uh, keep it peace or is it the what uh and mucus free yeah that yeah this uh why is covid on here man they we're just talking about mucus we're talking <laughs> about <laughs> from unnatural foods we're not talking about the lymphatic system that protects our body so yeah it's just waste we're talking about waste free but we call it a mucus all right Viewer discretion. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Viewer, viewer discretion advised. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, just keep it peace, y'all. And mucus free. Uh. Just keep it peace, y'all. And mucus free. Just keep it peace, y'all. And mucus free. <laughs> Just keep it peace, y'all, and you can spread, uh. Just keep it peace like the tree of the breeze providing shade Whose goal is extension while keeping a solid base I'm just receiving knowledge so I pass it on A realization, the past is gone Make moves presently, no matter where I have gone This has always been said to me So I'm keeping all channels open Sesame, peace is an errand in all and all is peace. So to be presently involved just means to be. Peace is an errand in all and all is peace. So just breathe. <laughs> Be in harmony, just keep it peace, y'all. And you can spread. Just keep it peace, y'all. And you can spread. Just keep it peace, y'all. And you can spread. Just keep it peace, y'all. And you can spread. Peace in other words is to be consciously. To have a breath, focus, mentality, constantly. So when the external world is shifting like tectonic plates, you said this film is working on how to get the alarm and shape because you see if you're too loud to sing, and if too sick, you're stuck. So find the middle, be alert for whatever comes up, so you can flow with the current time, because each wave is different. If the vision's restricted, then you're going to miss it. So keep the basics down and you will see from the shallow and further into the depth of the sea. Just keep it peace. Yeah, and mucus free. Just keep it peace, y'all. And mucus free. Just keep it peace, 
and make us free. Because there was a tendency we had to create What doesn't serve us on this journey They cut and glue some dead weight See, it's simple, all it takes is a little bit for effort So try it out, I am sure it'll be for the better There may be time to end this speech So thank you for listening to me And remember to always keep it peace Just keep it peace, y'all and you can spring is free. Keep it peace, y'all. And you can spring is free. Keep it peace, y'all. And you can spring is free. Keep it peace, y'all. And you can spring is free. Peace out. Next up. Peace, Peace, y'all. Keep it peace. Yeah, so that's the that's the appetizer. That's that's the little uh you know the uh uh the 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 pre little pregame there and so what we're about to do now is play the new video enemas all day by qrt's featuring professor spira and uh so this uh now down below if you're on the youtube uh you can uh, you can download this at bandcamp is that correct i got your bandcamp down there yeah and uh and so, uh, yes, you can download that there. And uh, yeah, this is this is a good this is a good track. This is this is you know th this tells what you need to do. <laughs> this uh, this this is the what you know the direction that I mean when you talk about revolutionary music because I don't see none of these uh, little turkeys and little Dirk and all these 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 are guys they ain't talking about nothing nothing heavy. You know this is. Uh, this is where it's at. So this is uh, Enemas All Day uh, by QRT's featuring Professor Spira. Let's kick it. Woke up, did an enema, eliminating aliens like the predator. Kill a colonial settler, lining up on them walls and we gonna win them up. Flush snakes down drains. Cut cake, lost weight, hit it fast for like one or two days. Then I'm back with a colorful plate. Midday with the enema, reparation pain, and I'm a settler. Body custodial janitor. This is one of them keys that I can hand you. Them pies and cakes, make strong guys piss. Sticky black sitting for a decade. In her back, make a shh Last night hit an enema, lemon water heated and we done set it up Help in the cold and a freshen up, this is one of them things can never say enough It's open the skates, got cleared out things And it's never too late, get it back and you're gonna say thanks All day with the enema All day with the enema With thoughts at bay there's much less waves If we pack then it's junk in the tank Tell that trash it could walk a whole plane It could walk a whole plane Yeah, yeah, yeah All day with the enema All day with the enema all day with the anima Niggas let's die just where I ended up From the antenna We see the seed deep like placenta Proceed to feed, don't be deceived by the lectures Speaking again, chop the white road with the septic Dissect the stretcher, flip your inspecting Rip the rectum, the nexus The next effect of vaccines A taxi, yeah, speed the same teeth that seem clean Don't quite seem to see emphysema Cream wheat, double meat and cheese on your pizza Deep beans, starches, varnish, carcass, larvas Gargantuous, cancer is the end so as you manage, just be cool. Now we looking at fruit and fruit. Who's cooking up in your soup? That I like that, base that, shake that, stagnate that, cake that, never you wait that, it never pulls you out. Out, 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 out. Um. Lemon juice and distilled water, y'all. Get yourself together. Lemon juice and distilled water, animals. Clean yourself out. 
Lemon juice and distilled water. Lemon juice and distilled water. It's enema time. Clean it out. Clean your cola now. Come on. <laughs> Get yourself together. Get the slime. Shake the mucus down. Shake the mucus down. Shake the mucus down. Get yourself. Get yourself clean. Cleanliness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. Yeah, you're um, right. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Clean it out. Clean <laughs> <laughs> it out. Come on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 some that's some quality work, man. That you know, and, and the way that came together, uh, you know, with because you had come out with the track like a like what was that November or October or something? I think you had sent the original, might even before that. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. around August. Yeah. Like, yeah, around that yeah. time. Yeah. Right, right. Then it yeah, it might yeah, it was by the time I got around to messing with it, it was uh it was probably yeah, like yeah, October or something, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so then so the keyboards, I, I, I so I laid some tracks down, some like keyboard track and did a little little overdub with some trombone vocals and then sent it back to Q and Q just 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 you know, fixed it and messed with it. Uh hooked up the track then uh yeah then then with the video we're just like here just shoot shoot some video <laughs> i was like all right let's let's do that and so uh but yeah yeah i dig it man it's you know turned out good and i think that uh is definitely <clears throat> you know is is gonna connect with cer certain people that wouldn't just want to watch a lecture on the mucus diet you know is, is it gonna connect with them but like well it's, it's catchy and, yeah and I do, I want to shout out also, so Reese, he sent me a little flute and I distorted it a little bit, just changed, changed the tone and put that in there too. So mm. I just want to, yeah, shout out okay. Reese, just cause he, I wanted him to be a part of that, that expression too. Like, mm. ah, where, where can I put his imprint up on there? Right. And then Andrea also, she recorded the footage in colombia so that's where that footage was where, where I, you're at yeah where yeah. i'm at yeah yeah Definitely. yeah most def and so i and i should explain a little bit so just in case there are people that are new here that are like what are y'all talking about <clears throat> so we practice something called the mucus's diet healing system by professor arnold Eret, and it is a healing system that includes a transitional methodology to transition and transform your diet and uh, simultaneously transform your body and your physiology to get away from pus and mucus forming foods, which have been identified to be the foundation of human illness, which ultimately creates the constipation. You know, so you're eating this all this slimy pus based kind of foods. And over time, these residues build up in your system and don't eliminate well. And a host of other issues happen, but you get constipated, uh, not just bowel constipation, but on a cellular level, acidosis sets in because some this 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 stuff gets older, it gets acidic. You have all this old nasty waste kind of coming out, and so uh, enemas are one ancillary therapy that's recommended in the mucus's diet, and. On uh, a brother air came along and really championed adding lemon juice to the distilled water enemas and doing them on a regular basis. And so then when I got into the mucus diet, I started to do lemon juice and distilled water enemas. And once I did, that was the big game changer because before I did the enemas, I really, um, uh, you know, I, I was still craving meat, you know, like, so I would go maybe a week without meat 
and then I was eating pretty good and I was starting to get more fruits and vegetables in there. But then that day would come where it's just like, ah, I've been good all week. Let me go, you know, go eat some, some mess. But once I started doing the lemon juice and distilled water enemas, that cleared out those poisonous residues that was causing the craving for these terrible foods. And then I, I no longer wanted them anymore. You know, I got to the, and then not only did I not want them anymore, I couldn't process them anymore. You know, it would make me very sick. And that's how it should be. We, you should, the cleaner you are, the sicker you get when you eat something you're not supposed to eat. In pus and mucus world, people consider that as, oh, you're, you have a problem. You, you need to, I mean, now giving people feces to eat feces pills <laughs> get your gut bacteria together here's here's feces from another human that had good gut bacteria here you go now you can go now we'll repopulate you with all the nasty so you can go eat this stuff you're not supposed to eat anyway i mean the the, the kind of logic and the messed up nut just nutty kind of mentality of this, this this thing out here is ridiculous and so that's when when people come and say oh well, you gotta do enemas and there another way i mean so yeah yeah you gotta do some enemas get yourself cleaned up uh get out out of the you know the the, the feces eating tradition and uh and, and so so that's kind of just to understand what that's all about why we you know, uh, you know why that's such an important kind of thing to us because we it's such a transformative tool that really, really can help you transform. And, you know, if, if there is any kind of way to make this process go a little faster, or more efficiently then uh, proper use of lemon juice and distilled waters can uh, 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 the distilled water enemas can really help do that. And uh, and I will maybe in the comment section, I'll share a link to our our how to video as we uh, collaborated on. Uh, well, Q had made he made uh, he was inspired, <laughs> inspired to make uh, a how to video enema video. And, and then brother air, brother air kind of pushed that initiative too. like he was. Yeah, he was put in the energy like. Hey, yeah, do, do do this many lemons too when you when you do the video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um and so uh I can, I, I can have this playing in the back. <laughs> and so yeah, so you had you had made that. And so then I was like, okay, well, I'll I'll make some stuff because I had a few things in the e-course. This is a clip from the Mucus' Diet Healing System e-course. So I had some stuff in there. And uh, then you would come with doing some of the, the the actual demonstration part. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me, I'll, I'll explain on top and then I'll incorporate uh, some of your, your videos in there. So we get the, uh, my, my baby Yoda cup and, uh, getting the getting the lemon so here i'm just i'm showing off how to do the uh with the citrus juicer but then i also if if i have organic lemons i'll do the rind and all in a in a, in a centrifuge juicer or just cut if i still want to use, use the centrifuge juicer but it maybe isn't organic then i'll just cut out the outer outer part of it like that but uh, but yeah, I so I did uh, let's see an error occurred. I don't know. I tried to tried to add this to the chat, but for some reason it's I don't know if it's not letting me share links or what. But it said there was an error. I can see it. Oh, you can. Okay, yeah, I just tried to do it again. I just clicked it. Yeah, it took me right to the video. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, now it's is, twice. Okay, well that's good. That's needed. <laughs> put it put on your <laughs> Uh Now for people that want to take it to the next level, and here's uh, we got the, the the parts of the video where where Q's uh, doing the that doing the demonstration portion, and uh, then for and for people, then this is good to show too. 
for people <laughs> that <laughs> that again that have the I don't do you really need them? So this is what it looks like. And and mind you, this is and this person's not very old, 45 years. That's not that's not very old. 45 year old person diagnosed with breast cancer. And mind you that with a colonoscopy, you know, they they do those really harsh uh purgative uh you know purgatives to try to get the stuff out of there so that they can fit the little video camera in there and you can see this this slime this 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 nasty slime that's that's around the outside this is what we're talking about this isn't supposed to be here you're not supposed to have this black it's not supposed to be black it's not supposed to be this this acidic and nasty and sitting in there and imagine what happens no, you know, look at statistics of colon cancers and all the, these acidosis and inflammation because this stuff is uneliminated and it sits in there for years and years since childhood. I had pounds and pounds of this black slime come out of me, uh, you know, several months into practicing the diet and doing regular enemas. And so, so just, uh, just to keep this in mind and then, you know, every, whenever you, when you're coughing and you're and you have a because you might not care now, but someday you're going to be coughing, blowing your nose. You might be constipated and you're going to remember our discussion today. <laughs> you know, I'm planting the seed. And uh, so you might not get into it right now. But when you're sick you're and you're not feeling good, you're going to remember my face. And you're going to remember this video. And I've just hypnotized you. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it was like, like you know, now, now you're gonna wake up, you know. But, uh, <clears throat> but Any, yeah, anytime no. you hear pandemic, you will <laughs> do an enema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me, yeah, pandemic. Uh, so yeah, that's the. Have you guys, has, has everybody on here seen, seen Dr. Puppet? And I put a little, little clip of him. In. Freaking run to the bathroom with an enigma bag. The steel water lemons in the booty ripping wag. Get that mucus, get it good. Everybody in the hood, get out the hood and get an enigma bag. Raise it high like it's your flag. Clink, 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 click, click, clink, clink. Get y'all cold and nice to clean. Very clean, Mr. Clean up that fine French fry cuisine. And all the girls say, Oh, Pat Mookie's boy, he's always talking about health and disease. He told me to give up Mickey D's and Taco Bell. And I was like, brother, please. I don't think that I could ever stop eating me. Well, girl, that's too darn bad. Your story is tragic and sad. Just think about all the beautiful mucus list times that we could have had. Don't be sad, don't get mad. The meat eating thing is the very old fad. It's true, that's your great granddad. Uh -huh. Read the book that has inspired thousands of brothers and sisters to take their health into their own hands. Professor Arnold Everett's Mucusless Diger Healing System, annotated, revised, and edited by Professor Spira. Visit www.mucusfreelife.com backslash revised dash mucusless dash diet to get your copy today while supplies last. Tell them Dr. Puppet sent you. Yeah. Yeah. So those uh I mean that's that's been out a while. That that came. I mean the original video of that was like it was probably 2014 or 15 or something. Oh. <clears throat> the good old uh nice production. Yeah, yeah, the that execution, was execution, the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, uh, you know, uh, an inter interesting process to to get that put together. And uh, so, yeah, I want to thank uh, ne ne next Nexus ish. <laughs> I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. Next <laughs> Nexus ish uh, gave gave a, a super chat. Really appreciate that. And uh yeah. yeah, most definitely. And uh so uh so what's what's going on out there in in uh California? Yeah, yeah, you out there in San Diego, is it still everything locked down and 
uh, curfews and is all that still in effect? Actually, just recent. Well, I want to also give a shout out to JD Vibes mentioning if you have a handicap or a weight problem, an alternative to the enema bag is a Kalima board. Mm. So definitely just giving that, giving that some light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then regarding the lockdowns, yeah, a couple of days ago, they actually removed the stay at home order that mm. has been implemented since December that they re they re-implemented, well, actually November, December, and they open up the, I believe the gyms, the barbers, the aestheticians, like massage therapy. Now I'm able to go into the office. So that's available now. Mm. Mm. I need to read up on what some of the stipulations are currently, mm -hmm. but that's just sort of the, the off drip that I caught. Like I didn't even in depth get into the health code and what are they talking about? It was just more seeing, okay, they lifted this up on the news, lifting up the stay at home order. Mm -hmm. Now now these businesses are open, getting emails from the different businesses that, I mean, uh, it's from the licensing organization for the massage therapy saying, hey, you're able to massage basically. Mm -hmm. So that yeah, it's it's lightening up on I'd say on that clerical end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Legislation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's uh <sighs> yeah, that's that's good because it's it's just been deep. Just just all the you know, taking people's livelihood, you know, it's like oh you you can get in trouble if you do your your work you know yeah. with the massage therapy you know yeah. and um, or you would have to you know do it do it off the grid you know where you be exactly you know, yeah you say. precisely and that we talked about that in the meetup before when we had we had tobin up in here and we had danny and everyone reese it was like initially i was I was using the car and I was able to drive over to different people's houses and provide massage in that way. Mm -hmm. And people that weren't really stirred up about everything on the, on the outside. So that's where, yeah, that was an option to just to be able to continue things it, because the rules were not indoors, like you can't, or not like in the office space. So you were able to, sort of get around it in that way or do it outside if you had that right that <clears throat> like i said just call make up your own system call it something else yeah like this is qrt special qigong uh you know san diego special or i don't know yeah, make, yeah. <laughs> like some kind of okay. you know like make make up something like this this isn't this isn't massage this isn't massage no. therapy this is you know this is life therapy this is life therapy. life, yeah. life body therapy you yeah. know how, how would you do that could you get into it on here what do you mean like how how would you create your own i mean it, you literally change just just name name it what you want i mean that's and that's the kind of freedom that we really have, but people are, most people are kind of scared to really like do that kind of stuff. Cause they think they, oh, I might get in trouble or this or that. But you, when, if you don't claim that it's whatever the licensed stuff is like, okay, well this, this isn't licensed. I'm, this isn't massage therapy. What I'm doing, this is, I'm, cr I've created my own system. And when you create your own system, it's not, uh, the, the, the government doesn't have the jurisdiction over it. And if you want to even make your, make it even safer for yourself, then you create a private membership association and people have to, uh, instead of just having them sign a regular old waiver, uh, you have them join your private membership association. And, and in the constitution, you have the, 
uh, the protections, you know, you know, and the, you lay all that out in what they're signing and that's it. You know, that's 100% outside of the jurisdiction of, of the governments, you know, and if you're kind of just doing your thing and keeping it under, uh, you know, you, if you're smart about it and, and you do it the right way, then, you know, they're, they, they can't come after you. Cause it's like, well, I'm not, I'm not doing massage therapy, you know, I'm doing, you know, cues, uh, you know, special body life work or whatever, you know, it's like, you just name it, name it. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so, you know, so those are ways to get, you know, get around some, some of that kind of stuff. But like I said, most we're so oriented to the license concept, you know, and sort of, we put everything on at like this, like, you gotta have this license, you gotta do it this way. And this certain, it's, it's kind of like, uh, cause even if you wanted to travel, like that's really the frame, the proper framework. If you wanted to travel from state to state, then, cause if you leave the state, if you're not licensed in some other state, then you could get, get, get in trouble. And so, and all that's a racket. Cause it's just all about paying the, you know, paying the state some money for you to do what you should, you shouldn't have to have a license to anyway, you know? Um, it's, it's, so is one thing when people, if people are trying to act like that, they have that type of license and then it's like, they're, then it's like falsifying where it's like, okay, I, I got this license and they're trying to use that as a part of their promotion. But if you're not even trying to claim license, you know, if you're just like, Hey, uh, this is what I do. This is the services I offer. And this is what it's called. It's not massage therapy. It's whatever I want to call it. Then um, it is what it is. You know, you fly under the radar. And if you're not hurting people and you're not, you know, it's just like you're, you're not going to generate bad press if it's like, you know, you're not hurting folks. Uh, and so and what I'm talking about also works in the naturopathic realm, you know, in the natural healing kind of thing and you'll notice a lot of nature pads have private membership associations set up you know the smart ones do and uh, so when they're working with people it's again it's outside of the jurisdiction of the government and uh and so that's the the smart way to deal with this kind of stuff and uh it's the uh I was just reading. Yeah. yeah. What what does he say? Said the right to travel. When you were speaking about getting into the world of licenses, it was just I felt like he was emphasizing the right, like that mm -hmm. that aspect. <laughs> and then after is driving is a commercial act that requires licensing. And then I was just reflecting on that idea of like, yeah, this. <laughs> I didn't know how to express it where it's mm -hmm. not like this world we're living in. It's kind it's kind of like that, but it's like just this world that is created to mm -hmm. where you in order to drive on these roads, like these roads are they belong to this particular mm, well jurisdiction. Yeah, like, jurisdiction. Yeah. yeah it's like, like the, yeah. So it's like you you become sort of what is that? It's like joining Facebook. It's like you be you become underneath the terms and conditions. Right, right. You you agree. Yeah, you agree. Like, yeah, you agree to it. And um, and you know, and this is like this is where we we you know, Michael Fathauer. If you watch that that podcast, for people, you know, which we get deep into this kind of stuff, just talking yeah. about you know the private membership association chain of title and what is nation what is a so-called nation of laws and human rights and you know that that kind of thing and really getting into a a real informed analysis of that kind of stuff and how you can operate with freedom in the right way so that you because there's folks out here that that don't just make dumb decisions where they're just like you know it's freedom don't you know, don't tread on me and this and that. And then, and then they're getting in the, and, and there's videos of this online. Cause the, sometimes the cops just laugh. Like they're like, Oh, this is going to be fun. You know, cause <laughs> these guys, you know, they're cause like, 
you know, they'll pull somebody over and they, as soon as they start talking, they crap. Then the cop, I, I mean, in one of the videos I looked at and I, and the cop smiled like, Oh, I get to, it is like, I get to try, I get to, you know, uh, get my little nightstick, get to get to get this ready, you know? And so they was like, it's like, look, sir, if you don't get out your car, don't do such and such, you know, we're, we're going to have to break your back window. And he's like, and, and then pull you out of here. We don't want to. And he's just, uh, you know, whatever he, they're taught to say. And, uh, and so they were like, all right, he broke his window. They drugged this dude out and, you know, and then they, you know, you get a couple licks in on him, like, make sure like here, cut, cover up the, cover up the cam. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> you know, like that <laughs> said, you know, but pus and mucus world, you gotta, you know, that's, it's like self-defense, uh, uh, what is it like like what's what's that name of that book the um survival in the 21st you know that's survival in the 21st century pus and mucus world you know it's like you gotta uh you gotta pick your battle sometimes you know because you just need to be able to flow <laughs> sometimes you just need to kind of not have to deal with the, the 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 buffoonery and uh yeah but uh <laughs> yeah so uh, but that, that's partly why I mentioned I was saying it's not the world we live in, but more the world that's created just to create that distinction. With the conversation, referring to the conversation that. You had with Michael Fathauer on that episode. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. And uh, yeah, I just saw something I'm, I'm on. So the the video that that plays automatically after the enema video, it's always going to be something stupid. So we got Berg Bergman fermentation, how to get healthy bacteria. So they're guess they're going to thank you for making, I guess they're, they're going to show you how to, uh, how to ferment your foods. I would imagine is this video. My thing is always like like that so that but that's really pop that's popular because it's about the, you know the fermentation it's it's like the death the things that revolve around death are always popular it's like so you're you're at like the things that are fermenting and in, in in that death type of state and uh and and I and I'll say this came up I did a a live uh IG the other day and this issue came up and it was like well the fermented foods is mentioned and it, it can be used as a tool within the context of the mucus diet but usually early on you know that usually isn't something that folks get into later in their transition and if it, they do it's like a short period of time you know a little sauerkraut kind of thing but um but we don't really get into this bacteria theory uh too heavy as far as like the this you know the repopulation this and the, to actively do uh you know do that kind of stuff because we're talking about remove remove <laughs> remove the waste just remove the waste whatever's supposed to be in there is going to be in there <laughs> but i know i know it's it was a popular thing because anytime when there's uh, i call i call them like little these little pet concepts and 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 I, those are usually what i get questions about all the time because it's there are things that have just been very well marketed and so you know superfoods and the good fats and the uh omegas threes and it's like all of these things have brilliant marketing campaigns behind them and that's why people even they, they don't even realize they've been pimped into believing this stuff like just without question and as if it is a thing you know and so i mean protein that was like the original og pimp of this whole nutrition pimpery uh and then now but then you know yeah you get your omegas it's like you're like hey hey you know you know let me and, and it's all peddling they're peddling you know they're they're they get your omega-3 pills it's like okay you want to be plant-based you know all right all right, baby, well, here, here's this omega three. You know, it's like just it's pimp. It's just pimpery. Yeah. It's all because that that mentality where we're breaking out of that. We're saying you don't even have to believe in that if you don't want to. 
you, you know, it's because it, it, most most people don't spend enough time without the supplements, without all the stuff to see if that's even real or not to see, you know, because they're scared because that's part of that. Keep you in line like, OK, well, what what about the this and well, well don't won't you get it? Don't you need enough this or do you need what? What? How do you get your protein source or how do you get that? And then it's just like. I'm into the freedom. And to me, the freedom is to just break out of that, that whole mentality, that whole, because it has led to people eating totally improperly, just, yeah. just total crap. Cause it, as long as you believe in that, that protein theory, which is, it creates the paradox because the paradox is even in their studies, a lot of the, the dead animal flesh and the red meat and dairy and this kind of stuff causes cancers and is at the foundation of a lot of these illnesses. But then on the other hand, they're saying that this is what we're supposed to eat, that the human species is designed to eat this stuff. Well, we have a problem here. That's a paradox. You On one hand, you can't, uh, you know, and, and then they'll come and say, well, it's just got to be well balanced. You just got to be. No, that's now we're now you're just messing, making up your own logic because that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's either going to be good <laughs> or it's going to be bad. It ain't going to be like, well, just eat a little bit of it. Like, no, nah, that, that, that that animal. Now, not to say if you eat less of it, you'll be in better shape for, mm -hmm. for longer. OK, but don't think that it's that it's just gonna be great you know that's that, that it's all good and um it's uh you know it's a deep thing now i know we we had had we talked about the the calorie you know we, the the how to uh bringing a few of the calorie theory people in you know with some with some stuff but um yeah just because like in looking at the calorie theory it's like for each meal, I try to do, well, yeah, I got into like trying to go to like one of the, I, I forget the name of the app, but on this app, it's like basically finding out what, what your ideal caloric, like, or your maintenance calories. That's a, that's a term that's used. So your maintenance calories, how how many calories do you need to eat? So looking at that, okay. Then for each meal, just typing in, all right, what am I eating? I had five bananas or like four bananas, right? And then on there, they have the, the number of calories for, like they have a sort of a template. So mm -hmm. it'll say banana in parentheses. It'll say medium. So then you're like, oh, yeah, medium sized banana is fine. And then you put the quantity and they show you how many calories that is. Then say I had dates with that. How many dates did I have? Similar input. And I was using it in the in the sense of just I would just eat the food that I'm already eating, but then have it calculated. And it was pretty much like. Yeah, it, it was pretty much like what I would eat anyway. Mm. Like as, as far as the calories, it, it wasn't like um, dictating anything. It was just more like I was eating my food to when I was full, looking at it like, oh, yeah, I'm eating enough calories to where people like if someone was to say, oh, like, do you, would you get enough calories? Like if you're eating like mostly fruits and vegetables, like you, but you need more. And it's like, no, nah, like I can get like whatever you you're getting on that other diet. You can do that with the mucusless diet. You don't have to skimp yourself how you would talk about. Some people are not eating enough like they're eating. They're trying to switch over and be like, no, nah, right. I'm going to eat um, this slice of an apple and right. and um, and I'm practicing the mucusless diet. It's like, nah, you could have a full plate. And if you're still into counting calories, you can still do that with this type of food. That's right. like what, I was, what I was getting yeah. at. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do that. And then, yeah, just. 
because you can and, 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 yeah and, and, and for, yeah yeah you because every because i just don't have that patience i'm i'm like i'm like you know what this theory is dumb yeah <laughs> and, and so, and so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna give you all the leads one of these days i will make a, a, a dedicated <laughs> video um, I'll do a lecture video and I'm going to just tear this whole thing apart. Because most people don't even, there's nutrition, people that study nutrition, they don't know this history. They don't know, they don't, I mean, they're, everything that's based on Mulder, Francois Magendi, Atwater, all these other people that is the foundation of their theories, of their paradigm, the way that they think about the human body and diet, they don't even know these people or their work. So how are you going to call yourself a nutritionist? You don't know the founding fathers and mothers of your field. And you haven't scrutinized their theories. You've just somebody told you what to believe and you just went along with it like that. That makes sense. You haven't scrutinized this stuff. And uh, so look them up. This at the Atwater system. This this guy, uh, you know, his, his, his little metabolism theories and. The and it, like I said, I'm gonna I'm do something separate where I really go over it. But you can find the find them on here on the archives, the old uh, the old books. You know the, those initial historical documents, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Farmers Bulletin, foods, nutritive value and costs, and you can go and, and look at look at those original theories that everything is based on. And when you analyze it, think about the way it's been sold to you, because when you, you look at the original text and then you can see how marketers have come in and they've isolated the, the, the elements of the theory that, that, that are dependent upon that, that say you have to do something, you have to get this, you have to get that. And then they have mounted entire campaigns based on this that have essentially created the the paradigm for uh for humans you know the way that we think about diet and think about the power of that i mean to me that the, the things that you believe in without even knowing or even questioning them or thinking that they are theories or that they are i mean that to me is so deep and heavy and to live in a society that doesn't give you the tools to question that you have to kind of seek that out for yourself or you have to pay a lot of money to get kind of high up in you it's you got to be pretty high up in uh in, in a university structure before they really start teaching you that kind of critical thinking and that kind of critical analysis uh and it's still not gonna it's not the the level that we're talking about here where now you're really questioning the very foundation and here what's what's our our buddy atwater have to say about protein because that was the the, the focus protein let's see uh what's he say meat can consist of lean and fat part of the fat is in large lumps which can be easily separated from the lean indeed we often cut out now uh, you know, just talking about this lean and uh, but like I said, yeah, I had to isolate the, the best and most I idiotic uh, parts of this when I go back over it. Yeah, because he had a formula up in there. Yeah, yeah. He's got all the his little little formulas because essentially it it, it just it, it doesn't make <laughs> it just doesn't make sense because even so you say this calorie thing. So you're like, OK. You're going to put food into a calorie meter that burns it, and then you weigh the ash. Well, I mean, you could <laughs> want to put, put bag, you know, bags of chips. You could put anything in that and call it food, you know, and be like, okay, how much calorie is this? Uh, it's like, okay, here's a bag of, of Cheetos. <laughs> You're getting enough calories today with your Cheetos. And then somebody has to be, and then they have to make addendums and say, well, not all calories are good calories. There's good calories, bad calories, and good calories. And it's like, nah, you just you just messed it up. Now you just <laughs> screwed up the whole theory because it's not supposed to be that complicated. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Let's, let's say a man might live on <laughs> a man might live on beef alone, 
but it would be very one-sided and imperfect diet. But meat and bread together make the essentials of a healthful diet, such as the facts of experience. The advancing science of later years explains them. This explanation takes into account not simply quantities of meat and bread and milk and other materials which we eat, but also the nutritive ingredients or, quote, nutrients which they contain. I mean, right, like, he, not once did he say anything about fruit. That's how far these folks were from the real, the, the real human diet. Even if you were eating that other stuff, the real diet is going to be the fruit. Didn't even mention it. So he said he didn't say that man might live on fruit alone. He said man might live on beef alone. <laughs> you know, so so this is the foundation of how you think about nutrition. You've you've allowed this to be your foundation. And, 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 and many have not questioned it. You just, you, you, you just said, well, yeah, of course, pro protein, you know, that's, yeah, it, it, I, I was always told you were told by, uh, you know, Bugs Bunny and, and all the, all the <laughs> breakfast characters. And, you know, that, that's how, when you think about it, most people learn and have their nutri nutrition concepts cultivated and developed by advertising that's mm -hmm. not school because you've already been oriented by the time you get to school you've yeah. watched part of this part of your balanced breakfast uh you know all of the the cart the cartoon uh cereal stuff your M mcdonald's commercials for kids and you know part of a balanced diet what's that mean you know part of a balanced breakfast part of a balanced diet cookies you know, cookie crisp, <laughs> yeah. like mom, can I have cookies for breakfast? Sure. <laughs> sure. Son, here's some cookies, you know, here's your cookie crisp. And I used to eat the, the hell out of cookie crisp. I loved it. Cause yeah, it's sweet. It's it lit. It really did taste like I'm eating cookies for breakfast. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, even, even like I pictured while you were just bringing up the commercials, the orange juice, with the milk and the cereal, like that combination. Like, just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like one meal, uh, orange juice, milk, cereal. What else? Did they have anything else? Or that was like the main. Because a couple things came to mind. Like, that was one thing, like that impression, ha having the, the milk and the orange juice. Then when you were speaking about the foundation that is being pushed, picture the food pyramid where mm -hmm. uh, the ensemble um, paid their condolences to the to the uh, food pyramid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, video, yeah. Rest right. in peace food pyramid because it's like I think on the top was like sweets, right? Like oils and sweets or something like that. To where the, it's like, oh yeah, that's okay. Like sweets, the fir the foundation of the pyramid was grains. It was like breads, grains, um, then then meat, fruits and veggies with like, yeah, their little whatever servings, and it's like, well, when when do you eat all of that? When do you mix them? Like, how do you combine all that stuff? Right. Yeah, here's a yeah, dang boy. They made the cookie crisp don't even look like now. It's, it's even darker. They were like, let's let's just make it double double chocolate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cookie crisp brownie. Cookie crisp brownie. I mean, and think it. You know, that's why I love analyzing and just going through the advertising because it's for young people. Like, if you understand how impressionable the young mind is and the, and you get the, this is imagery and you, you get them hooked. And that's one reason why, you know, I, I, the, we have to have 
compassion for ourselves because <laughs> what in the world is that that's holding what's that blob <laughs> what is that <laughs> that's some mucus Woo! this is just like ah, just just over yeah, overload very stimulating, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That make me want some for sure. Yeah, yeah. it's like uh, I need the chocolate, need the uh, with the cookie. Oh yeah, yeah. Crave. Yeah. crave like crave. crave. It's called crave. Yeah, yeah. It's called crave. Called crave. Yeah, <laughs> that's a mucus. Oh trance. It, let, yeah, the the mucus trance hypnosis. <laughs> I've never even heard of these. These must be new. Yeah, I guess in the two thousands, I was out the game by that point. So I'm now, of course, Lucky Charms. I grew up eating that. Yeah. I wasn't really a fan of the of the texture of the marshmallows. Okay. So I didn't yeah. get into them too much. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I, I had my little time. They weren't my. It wasn't my favorite. It was one of those that you just. Every once in a while, like, yeah, get get lucky charms, you know, to, to break up the my favorite of all time was uh the count chocula. And of course, they they had stopped selling that, and I think they came back out with it. Mm. But uh, like late once I was done eating, done eating all yeah. this stuff. I'm like, ah, y'all now you come back out with it. This yeah. quick cereal, nourishing possibility. It's crazy, man. Tricks. I I walk through some of these aisles. I haven't in um, a little bit, but I, I'm going to do that soon. Just reading the ingredients, man. Like looking at all yeah. the food I was eating, being younger, and even even like Capri Sun, like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Thinking when I was younger that it was good. Like Sunny D, just like thinking like, oh, this is like, it's kind of healthy or just this is natural. And then right. looking at it reading it now it's like it's horrible i'm just i feel like i was bamboozled so i think someone used that word on here so it's in my brain but I, yeah i feel like i was deceived growing up right i'm still yeah. i still feel that way but yeah i mean look like okay so we you just looked at the tricks so let's look at the ingredients and 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 you tell me if this is what young children should be eating even if you believe in all this, this calorie theories we were talking about, the nutrition theory, even if you believe in all that, look at these ingredients and you tell me if this is what you think young people whose bodies are developing and unfolding, if this is what they should be eating. So we got whole, whole grain corn, sugar. So sugar is number two ingredient, rice flour, then corn syrup, so sugar and corn syrup. <laughs> then we got canola oil, salt, trisodium phosphate, natural and artificial flavor. What does that mean? What's natural and artificial? Because I read like a lot of the stuff they call natural flavor is kind of artificial. So I, I would hate to know what the actual artificial flavor is. Red 40, you got to have that. Yellow 6, blue 1, because everybody knows what that is, what those are. You know, that grows in your, you could grow that in your backyard, grow some blue 1. <laughs> you know, so that's natural. <laughs> and uh, and other other color added, so they just like, ah, we're, we've listed enough colors. We'll just say there's other ones too. So we're, you know, we, we're done <laughs> listing colors. And uh, citric acid and, and malic acid. And the sad thing is this, it only gets worse from here because if you, we start looking up other ingredients, the other ones, it's, it's worse than this. Oh, but I mean, sugar, like, uh, it's, it's just insane. So it's like, all right, you, you want to give some young people something fruit. You know, I used to eat, uh, even before I practiced a diet, when I was growing up, I used to love just having, and it was like the canned pineapple 
with no with 100 juice in it i didn't i didn't like the the syrup stuff and um and i would eat that i could eat that for breakfast even before even in the pus days like i could have some, a, a thing of pineapple and then maybe i have some other stuff with it or something like that but um you know people would about pop tarts pop tart ingredients this i'm sure this is healthy so we got our rich flour and thymine mononitrate and oh they in fortified vitamin b2 and all this kind of stuff we got soybean and <laughs> and then they they highlighted high fructose corn syrup just to let you know like yeah this is and uh and i encourage everybody watch a documentary called king corn that is excellent as it shows how like we we live in a corny nation this is the corny time everything revolves around corn and so the corn syrup the the animals that are going to be slaughtered are eating corn or some type of corn is involved in what they're eating uh is corn 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 is in everything unless you start practicing the mucus diet then you find that like oh wow i've there's i don't there's no corn in my diet you know there's not corn related stuff unless you you know you deal with a little a uh, little corn chip here and there there's uh it's not gonna be all this kind of corn and uh you know pop tart i mean who i mean just just rationally you looking at this like that's break that's a good breakfast that's part of a balance, yeah. you know. You know, for yeah. a, a, a growing, breakfast lunch. yeah, bre yeah, yeah, breakfast, snack. I ate. I I was eating boxes of the boxes of those, like mm. get the s'mores one, mm -hmm. toast it up, or eat it plain. Like any time, go. I walk to the like gas station. If I'm walking home, walk to the store. Oh, pop tarts! Like that was just one of the go tos. Like one of my, one of my go tos. Not right. thinking about this at all. Like, yeah, that's where I'm. That's where I'm feeling that that deception because it is on the commercial. It's like why why would they show something on the TV that is harmful to me? Right. Let's let's see here. Part part of a balanced breakfast. I wanted to see if they had what they uh if there was any ads that, that just said that. But sometimes they put that on the on the box. Mm. And then this stuff that we remember when they used to try to sell that, mm. <laughs> like it was a health food, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, like here's yeah. this nut Nutella, you know, this is, this is, oh, dear. There's a, that's a, that, that's a hearty that's breakfast. <laughs> that's balanced though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it's balanced. Meat, the bread. Got, yeah. yeah. You got your bread. <laughs> yeah. This, this is an, this is an at water breakfast. <laughs> this is uh yeah this is a wilbur atwater breakfast right here this is you get all your essential uh you know b b27 and and uh whatever you're supposed to get you got it you got your little i mean who why would you want to have like a little like a cut cut a tomato and like let me just grill this tomato or burn it on the top and and put it here for breakfast make no sense <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> me. oh no what do we what do we got i mean look at like until people get this figure this out th th this is one of the worst as Eric says one of the worst things humans have ever done is the big breakfast and especially the big pus based breakfast look at this this ain't and what and what is this? This uh, this this tomato tree is this a tradition that I'm not aware of? The breakfast tomato. I'm <laughs> I, don't, 
I didn't know about that. The breakfast <laughs> tomato. Okay. Um, but just look at all that, man. This is not, and, and we all ate it. We're not talk. We're not on no high horse talking like, nah, man, we used to eat it. I mean, I didn't necessarily eat this combination here. It was this, this, this would have hurt even me. I think back then, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of like this, uh, oh, man, this is, this is pretty deep, but, um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this, this is the foundation where people that want to know all of the pain and suffering in the world and the chaos and the depression and the suicide and the rape and the murder and the police brutality don't look any further than what these folks are eating on their breakfast plate. When you got this, then you can't you can't ask for anything better than what we have in our society. When this is what people are eating, when this is the foundation, you can't have a, a calm and peaceful type of world, you know. Here we go again with I guess this tomato is a thing. I didn't know. Yeah. And uh just all like these combinations is... for a little juice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I it's like. What is that? Is, is that a coffee? Like, is that a right there? Yeah, the yeah, that, yeah, coffee there. So it's like that combination. It's like the coffee upper yeah uppers and downers like in one you know you get you get your upper with the caffeine with the coffee you this is all about just it's like a yeah downer with a little you know you get that combination together so you, yeah sugar in the coffee maybe milk in the oh, coffee yeah. maybe yeah like it looks light too it's not a dark cup so it's yeah imagine mixing all that just pour that in a pot blend it Right, <laughs> drink that. <laughs> this, this is a cream of feet. <laughs> uh, someone's over here clowning with that dung, dung hose. What, like little, little, little poop? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This is. But yeah. they're thinking, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, they're together some thoughts they're, right they're there. Putting, putting some things together. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. But well, Rick called that the the butcher speedball. Uh, that 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 other one. What? Is that? Uh. <laughs> yeah, just looking at, looking at the butcher pus speedball. Pus, pus and mucus. Pus and mucus. That is. Uh, that's <sighs> what it's uh it's what it's about out here and until we we wake up and you know really kind of re you know start to see you know and we you know bring bring this up and, and and it's you know a lot of comedy is based on tragedy and pain and sadness you know so you laugh to keep from crying because it's really sad you know this is just a really sad situation that we find ourselves in but uh instead of yeah being in the depths of despair and depression it's like hey well we we at least now we know and we have work to do we got a lot yeah. of work to do but i would rather have a lot of work to do than and 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 know what what we need to be doing than mm -hmm. to be clear, uh have clarity yeah yeah right we have a little little clarity and that, uh, then to what? Yeah. Sorry, I did cut you off. No, you well, I was saying what you said, yeah, to, to, I'd, I'd rather have that work to do, you know, and ha have the clarity. And um, yeah, there was there was some there was a funny commercial. What was the name of that? Um, oh, let's see if I can find it. But I even wanted to tie in what we were just looking at with earlier when you were emphasizing the importance of mastering being alone, just mastering mm -hmm. being yourself, mastering solitude. And it's, it's one of those things that comes into play when 
we're seeing that a lot of people view what we were just looking at as a foundation. Like that's foundational in their mindset of how they eat, when, how they go to restaurants, how they hang out with people, how their social world is dictated through these sorts of theories. So that's where I'd say for us as mucusless diet healing system practitioners, it's realizing the foundation of of what we've been taught is basic is crumbling it's not stable so taking that step back to be with yourself is crucial and key to then navigating this world like that's where as you you were mentioning the time it takes being an artist to hone your craft this is the craft that you're honing you're honing all the different tools the different ingredients are we adding blue number one red number <laughs> seven Nah, like it's like okay i'm learning i'm learning all these different elements so then when we step out we're just self-contained in any right. situation that's that would be the ideal it's like it doesn't matter what people are eating what people are doing over there it's like i'm good i have my things here that'll sustain me and i'm on this path i'm just this is my this is what i'm doing and i think that's that's a that was a good point just going through all these different foods and showing the world that is around us and what we're what we're dealing with basically right and what we're stepping away from yeah 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 it's important for us to definitely make that distinction and understand understand this stuff you know understand the, these principles and that it, that the world is you know it's it really is based on this, this plus and mucus type of reality you know we gotta we gotta just just understand that and uh i'm gonna play something real funny yeah. This is um this is a this is like an old coffee commercial that and this is from G Jim Henson, who you know created the, the Muppets. He he did this. You can tell his voice, you know, he he made these, but these are all let's just watch a couple of these are funny, but they're like so sadistic. But this is this is about coffee. Buddy, what do you think of Wilkins coffee? I never tasted it. Now what do you think of Wilkins? <laughs> Care for a cup of Wilkins coffee? No, I don't like coffee. This has been a public service. I mean, it's, it's, it's literally like if you if you don't drink Wilkins coffee, you will be murdered brutally. <laughs> he had a gun. Can you run that back? Sorry. Yeah. Care for a cup of Wilkins coffee? No, I don't like coffee. This has been a public service. Yo, <laughs> you're here to persuade people to drink more Wilkins coffee. What's the club for? To get their attention. Wow. You get on the Wilkins coffee bandwagon? Never. No. You either go with Wilkins or you just don't go. It's <laughs> like kind of sociopath. If you don't drink Wilkins coffee, you're not all there. Oh, that's a lot of. In fact, without Wilkins coffee, you're nowhere. <laughs> this is like the most aggressive. I wouldn't admit this if I wasn't alone, but I really do like Wilkins coffee. Did you call? Ugh. You know, people who don't drink Wilkins coffee just blow up sometimes. Oh, that's a lot of. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, man. I don't know. I, I'm just. Uh, that, that, yeah. That's funny to me. That's like. Uh, that's some, some old classic. Jim Henson, get the get the kids get the kids ready and let's watch some some wholesome wholesome television. Good old. Uh, it's, <sighs> it, it reminds me of the what was the video where you were sitting behind your house or just you you were in the in a yard somewhere and you had I believe you had the paint on you. 
where oh it was showing the Jimmy Dean, like it, sh it showed the Jimmy Dean, and then the ice cream dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like that absurdity to push those foods. It's like, yeah, there's no rationale. Just reason. Yeah. If if you want this poison, just take it. Like, I hey, this is poison. It's not too good. Um. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah this is yeah eat, you know this is the the bait the baby's ice cream this is the this is a classic and uh yeah that's an old video that's one of those where i was using this old camera you could barely see him <laughs> it's all grainy and uh yeah i had the, had the the face paint on there when you eat little baby's ice cream you'll wink and nod and hug and high-five each other with great enthusiasm. This is a special time. Little baby's ice cream. Ice cream is a feeling. <laughs> that voice, though. Yeah, yeah. That's so it's, intense. <clears throat> right. It's right. like, because the whole the first that. part. <laughs> What's up? Is that thing in the first part? He's like, I love my job. I eat little baby's eat ice cream. Baby's it keeps cream. me young. It keeps <laughs> me light on my feet. I spring from activity to activity. I love my job. I love my life. When you eat <laughs> little like, baby's ice cream, you'll wink. And it's like, like, they're not even, you know, we're just, this is just straight hypnosis, kind of. Yeah, I, I love my life. I love my job when you eat little baby's ice cream. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow. Yeah, the the pus the pus and mucus <laughs> world. I mean, it, it's it's the one awesome. good it's like if we have to look at what's the, the, the good thing, you know, if you're trying to look at the good side, is it at least we have some entertainment as we transition. <laughs> just look at how absurd and crazy this all is. You just it's, you just start seeing this stuff is is all over the place and things that you didn't wouldn't even really thought about before that yeah, you wouldn't even considered as being weird or crazy. All of a sudden, you look at it and like, wait a minute, that's bizarre. That's nuts. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, some of the worst are just all the different. That the animal uh, logos and for all the you know food joints where they have you know a chicken logo and and where they're all yeah ribs yeah, yeah. where the yeah have yeah, a, have a, a, pig, you know, a pig and or, yeah celebrating yeah. It's just it's 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 just totally bizarre, you know. It's like yeah, and and or in the ones where they have the 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 chicken will actually be a cook. It's uh, like you know, yeah, we're. Uh, I guess these these are all just sort of stock, <laughs> yeah, stock ones. But it's like yeah, come come eat me, uh, come torture and slaughter me and eat me. My thumb is up. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm gonna make you make you feel you know, make you feel good. Thumbs up. Have have you have you met any chickens, Professor? Yeah, I mean I've seen chickens. Now we say meat. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean I've I've seen them in you know like little farms and stuff when you go visit little farm and chickens running around. I haven't like I haven't bonded with one. I've never had okay. one on my lap or anything talking to it. Yeah. That, I was trying to check in like that because recently in my travels, it's like I, I came across a chicken years ago or chickens years ago to where I was able to see them like, oh, wow, like just chickens. But I was still eating meat like I was still just eating pus at that time. Mm -hmm. But recently. In my in my visit to Colombia, it was like. I was able to like meet chickens and like have 
chickens around me and like one of them's pecking me just behind me like eating uh papayas from like from you like you could take a piece and they're just like pecking it and you throw it over there and i i was uh doing a little a, a little like yard work kind of situation where it's like grass mm -hmm. and like pulling the grass up and worms were up in there so then you could see the the chicken just like waiting for you to lift up the grass so then they could go up in there and and get to the worm kind of thing and right it's like, you just you just see the 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 character of the animal just being able to connect with them in that way and yeah like it it is very disturbing to to see what you're expressing with the advertisement mm -hmm. of like oh yeah they're meant to be eaten ah you the the chicken that you'll love it's in your stomach like just yeah it's like how how to how you um what is that demoralize the situation how would how would you categorize well i mean i would i'd say it's uh depraved it's um you know what what synonym do we want to use and um you know just 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 nasty yeah you know <laughs> yeah. evil you know yeah and uh let me see and there's all like, yeah, this, this kind of stuff. And this is all the classic, like, this is sort of like vegan 101, but there's, you still need to talk about it because people still aren't really making that connection. And so we got the farm, farm fresh, you know, though. So you'll see ads that look like this. That's, oh, the pretty blue sky and the grass and, and the animals are, you know, I guess they're happy. They look, they look photoshopped happy yeah one here and uh you know so as long as there's some blue and you know and it's like like you know there's all this farm fresh and everything is good and you know life is great farm milk nutritious and delicious uh, i mean as a i guess that's a fake ad but there you, you've seen these like these kind of ads you know but then when the real deal well why don't they put this on the front why don't they put this on the front of you know mm, farm farm fresh you know yeah. farm 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 fresh you know made made with love you know made with 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 love and care and in the the love of a of, of a good uh good wholesome small company and loving farmers why don't they put this on the on the cover? This, you know, this is uh, and these images on here that on this random search is aren't even as bad as the really like you know you really start getting into some of these, <clears throat> like the chicken, the chickens when they where there's like a billion of them stuffed in these rooms. I mean, this is this is all about love. This is all about love and togetherness, togetherness and freedom, you know, free range. We let, we let them, yeah, hanging out. We let them run around. It's free range. You know, they, they, they're given the opportunity to run. And, uh, you know, again, th this, this should be on the front, like, you know, KFC, it should be a, it should be a picture of a dead upside down chicken hanging going down a conveyor belt not an old white man that you know that didn't even like own his own company uh you know this is this would be more more apt you know bizarro world this does not have to exist if you have any inkling of wanting to remove the chaos from this world then you should be doing everything in your power to put this into the dustbin of history. Because there is no peace as long as you have these 
poor chickens on a conveyor belt being slaughtered and 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 burned alive and and boiled and whatever they do to to get the the uh uh put them through that heat process to get the the feathers off of them or what whatever it is and you you got this kind of stuff it's humane like oh it's humane once you first get to that point you understand not only do you not need the dead animal products but they're the foundation of of your illness they are contributing to your aging they're contributing to your all your your, your problems various ailments your back pain your this whatever it is so until that connection is made like oh they're they're smiling so it's so it's better stuff it i mean we're just sadistic man we we so we're so lost you know it's, we just we just got so far out in in nut nutsville with this kind of stuff i mean just and, and people wonder what why are so you 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 know you got animals like this and, and think and you're bringing that into your body and you don't think that you're you think you'll never experience the kind of of fear that these animals are experiencing and you're eating it and those hormones all that that fear hormone all that that stress all of that and you wonder why you have anxiety you're going through depression you're having suicidal thoughts and you're eating this stuff you know it's it's yeah. very it's, it's, it's not rocket science. It's not a mystery. It's been figured out. Now it's time to get over the addiction, do the work, clean yourself up. Once you get the 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 residue of this stuff out of your system, you uh, it's that that's it. You know that that's you, you don't crave it anymore. You don't identify it as as food. And. And I know that's difficult to understand as well. It can be. I know you said it's not rocket science, but there's something that mm, I don't know if it's a if it is a barrier, but there's there's something that that blocks people from understanding that the food affects them in that way regarding you're mentioning depression you're mentioning the suicidal thoughts that stimulation just more more on the yeah just more on the stim the stimulated right uh activity and it's like because i'm thinking about a specific person that's why mm -hmm. i came to mind where they 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 saw that that i was doing some of the work like with the food and and being specific then one of my other friends started getting more into their diet and changing things up and saying similar things of like your diet will change how your mind works just how you eat it ch it changes how your body's functioning if you're putting more toxins in there if there's more toxins in there that those toxins are running to your brain, like just uh, practically speaking, just that's what it like. If there's toxins running through you, you best believe it's it's going through your brain. It's going through your blood vessels. That's right. just what that's the nature of it. So there's still a, a disconnect of, well, if I did stop eating these foods like are, are these really the foods that are the cause of my like all this weight on me and all this this um uh, this stagnancy and it's like yeah but it's so it's hard like it's it's hard to comprehend if you don't know another way like if yeah, well, just, I, yeah. I mean, that's that's the that that's the 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 mature the mature the maturation process that we all must go through if we are to survive. You know, that's the it's it's time to get out of the sandbox. No, we don't no longer be children. Grow up, 
the adults. And uh, and that goes for, you know, the, there's because there's many kids that are way more sophisticated and advanced on this path than a lot of the adults are. Because some of the kids will defend the animals that are going to they want to take them to slaughter them. And a kid will like grab the animal like, no, don't kill this. It know, you know, the, the young person knows when they're put in the position. They don't know what they're eating when you just give it, give them that stuff to eat. They uh, they're not making that connection between the kind of the slaughter and the pain and the suffering and that of the animal like there's that's totally disconnected for the kid because it, for most parents, that's there's a disconnect. They have never thought about that. They don't have a clue. Yeah. And um, think, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, like the, the one example that I tend to connect and people realize it also, or t two things rather, is the the sugar aspect. Like where you talk about the connection between the diet and and behavior, just people joke about giving a child sugar and watching them run around all hyper, ha ah, da, da da, and then they crash. Mm. We experience that. We speak about that, and we. I'm just saying, pe just people like. Oh yeah, oh I'm I'm hyper off sugar right now, or like oh yeah, I had, and then the coffee aspect, like they'll drink the coffee and then feel stimulated, like oh yeah, the caffeine, ah, it really has me, uh, just doing doing all this work now. Now I'm trying to, uh, yeah, finish this assignment and all jittery. It it's I find it hard to believe as well that you couldn't see these other foods affecting you in, in similar ways. Right. Like you already have the, those hints. Oh yeah. When I eat sugar, I'm hyper. Like you're already noticing the effect of, of the food on your behavior and on your, yeah, I, I'd say behavior. I was going to say your and you're thinking, but just, yeah. 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 I mean, it's, but and that that's the brilliance of the book like mucus's diet healing system is it it wakes you up to that you know where that is um <clears throat> you know that that that's part of the waking up process and that is why that book is so important is because it can bring bring awareness to all that we're talking about and it does it like systematically and it does it in a where it doesn't necessarily say each thing. It's like it's it's hitting you in such a way where you you can start to figure everything out yourself. You know, but you can you start putting these things together because he doesn't talk about the slaughterhouses. But the logical conclusion of this work is you start to realize for yourself. You don't have to be told that it's crazy. You realize it's crazy. You know, and now I'm here to tell you it's crazy. And I say, let's compare which which reality would you rather live in? What's what's a better reality on the right hand side where you got you got these kids loving these kids don't want to kill and eat this animal that kid. You know, they, they just they want to hug and cuddle with it. They don't. You know, well, I don't know about her. No, <laughs> I don't know. She, she might be like, she might be grabbing out with it. You know, she, she she's a little suspect. But um <laughs> <laughs> she, she might be like, like this is the one I want to eat tonight, Dad. You know, but these other yeah. kids, they don't want to, they don't want to kill these animals. You say you this little, if you 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 give that little girl like, okay, if you if you put a uh, put a knife over here, like, okay, cut its head off, and they, they don't register. But she don't want to. She's having fun cuddling. This is cuddling the the, the chicken. They don't want to hurt it. So what what reality would you do you want to be a part of? You want to be a part of of a love reality and a, a a do no harm reality, a coexistence reality like what we have over here on the right or you want to be a part of this. You want to be a part of factory process farming, pr processed foods, torture, slavery, anxiety, depression, chemicals hormones i mean it's, it's the choice is yours the choice is yours if you thought 
I'm I'm chicken I'm chicken free for 18 years. Uh, brother Air's chicken free 40 years. We got Decora chicken free 45 years. There's plenty of people. There's folks you can find the people that have that's eaten like this for longer than that. That's eaten plant based whatever that that look younger, that feel better, that are in better condition, and their diet didn't rely on this, you know, didn't rely on the, the pain and suffering of defenseless animals. Uh, you know, so you choose your reality. What, what, what makes sense to you? What, what do you feel comfortable with? And, uh, it's funny on my, some of my, I, I know that I'm, I'm getting a larger reach because I'm starting to get the, uh, the, the, the dead animal, protect you like the people that really want to defend the dead animal eating they're starting to make comments on my on my posts on instagram so i that's 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 funny to me you know where they're because i got a couple like you know that the anti-food and then out of nowhere got somebody comes up like you know i i eat raw meat every day and i feel great so this is wrong false you know like i'm, I'm not gonna say nothing to you i'm gonna leave your comment right there because it shows <laughs> it, 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 you've just shown how idiotic your reality is and uh, no, nothing needs to be said to you uh where you know nobody's gonna try to convince you of nothing we're, we're using you as a uh, as a case study of how not to be and um but yeah but that's yeah, that's that's the thing, man. What 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 makes sense? What what's a a loving, compassionate reality? And I always say, you know, you you do you have a pedagogically, it's good to for a lot of people to clean, get them into the diet first, and clean and, and get them to clean up. You have to, you know, kind of appeal to their sense of self preservation or their vanity wanting to look young and wanting to lose weight, you know, that kind of stuff. You can kind of appeal to that or they have an ailment. And so, and, but then once they clean themselves up, then the empathy starts to grow. So you can take people that have very little empathy to start with, put them on the mucus's diet. And then that just starts to grow and they start to make all these connections themselves. Like, you know what? It's probably not good to have this kind of pain and suffering. And, um, you know, and then you, and that you just put all that together yourself, <clears throat> Yeah. you know, but this, uh, but you yeah. know, this life is cho choose your own reality, choose your own, you know, cho choose what kind of world you want to live in and by controlling what you put in your body and put and put in your mouth. That's, that's how you do it. That's how you really, if you, if you want to change the world, change what's on your plate. The first step, change what you're putting into your body and go from there, you know. Yeah. Go, yeah. go from there. Exactly. And let's like uh, see what happens. Let's see. Or like so what, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, yeah. What's what's the worst that, that can happen? You know, you get off of the dead animal carcass, you know, you and you and you and you to feel better that's the words like the words i have you feel feel a little better deep <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like you know human human food fruit yeah uh you know and the fruits investment and of course we we talk about transition and uh, if you want to know more about the transition diet and that kind of stuff you definitely read the mucus diet healing system book Check out the e course, uh, Mucus Diet Healing System e course. Uh, you know, links for that's all down below. But, um, but yeah, it's definitely time for us to put in this work, get ourselves together. There's a lot of work to do, but there's what, what else do we have to do? You know, it's, it's just time. It's definitely time to, to get ourselves together for, uh, you know, for to actually have a, a nice, you know, a friendly farm of, you know, the, the friendly farms that aren't based on killing and milking and egg, you know, taking, uh, 
taking the un undeveloped because that's another weird, you know, the egg thing, you know, taking a, a, a embryo or undeveloped baby, a, you know, aborted fetus baby chicken and eat it. Like who had that idea? Like who was thing? Who was like <laughs> sitting around like look, looking at an animal and seeing and it has a baby in an egg, and you're looking at that egg like I'm gonna eat that. I think <laughs> I think it's more like mm, survival and even observing other animals like if mm -hmm. if you watch this let's say I well, well, like a, a snake animal, like a dog a, yeah exactly. a snake eating a eating, eating, an, eating egg. an egg and then you're just like you're hungry and you're just like i'm a i'm gonna eat that like <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't care yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm eating that egg or I'm I'm eating that dead body. Well, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'm gonna see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check it out. And uh, yeah, I mean there there's that that his kind of tra tracing the steps back. You know, tracing back the the tragedy of nutrition. Uh, yeah, and, and I, going I, I wonder that. how. I wonder how uh, gym tastes like. <laughs> Just well, yeah. I, well, when I said eat this dead body, I just pictured, yeah, it's like the guy just died over there. He's like, all right, yeah, we we gonna eat him. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're there. You know, we'll. Uh, we'll <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got work to do. We got a lot of a lot of work to do. So uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We'll start to wrap up here and uh, uh, go down below. You see the links follow Q on Instagram and Facebook. Go to Bandcamp and, uh, and download that uh, tomorrow or late, maybe late tonight or tomorrow or soon. We'll uh, upload the, the standalone video. So we invite you to share and like that and get that out there for people to the enema, enemas all day video and um you know really you know get this word out of anything that people can do to help share the videos or share the information you know my instagram we i'm posting every day now on there uh new memes and content and things to check out uh you find on facebook we're still still out there uh but it's it's just about get getting people plugged in to this consciousness and it's needed everywhere because it's needed not only for people that's never even heard of a plant-based diet or a healing system type of diet, but people that are uh, that are in the plant-based community, you know, that's already trying trying to do that. But they need to learn about the transition diet. They need to learn about proper way of fasting. Uh, so this to me is the missing link for so many people. And uh, so I strive to try to put it out here in, in a rational manner. That's not, like I always say, don't be hard on yourself or think that you have to be perfect. None of us eat perfectly. None of us, there's no one is like, like I'm 100% mucus free all the time and right there, you know. Great, yeah, good. Check out the your greatest addiction of all time mucus forming foods. So, be gentle with yourself. Be kind. This is going to take a minute to, to get yourself together. But uh, but yeah, it's but it but we can totally transform this planet, totally transform this planet, transform this world by learning how to control what we put in our bodies, learning how to control. Uh, you know, the, our cleanliness, being, just being clean, cleaning ourselves up. And the kind of thought that comes out of that, the clarity of thought. I mean, that's probably one of my favorite things about this lifestyle is the clarity of thought that came from it. You know, I just love that. I, mean, I wouldn't trade that for nothing. You know, like I'll you'd be like, here's a million dollars, but you got to eat this crap 
and and then and you'll lose and, and and i'll eat that crap and lose my clarity of thought man you you keep that money because i ain't uh-uh love the clarity and so um you know so you know, oh there's a cue your oh your video and froze on the laugh that was funny uh, and, uh so uh so yeah so i, I uh give them last uh you know last shout outs and tell them where you know reinforce where to find you and uh how, how people can get in touch with you hey thank you for having me professor spira thank all of you for watching and engaging and just sharing your energy with us you can find me on the instagram at q o r t i z q i q or t's q i i'm on facebook my personal page is q rich or t's and here on my youtube as well my channel is q or t's just type that in you'll find my channel those are the main three i'm circulating on i'm working on refining the pages and all of that but you can find me there and shoot me a message yeah most most definitely <clears throat> so yeah so i really appreciate you coming on the show this has been a lot of fun you know we always have fun we come on here and just 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 vibe you know just vibe and and go down that road and we got a chance to to animals all day the world premiere yeah you know, put them out there so definitely uh, so I, so I enjoy so happy it. about that yeah and it seems like people are enjoying that too getting into yeah. the, the enemas all day stuff that they were motivated so that's that was already a good good step well, yeah most most definitely so uh so yeah so everybody you know keep just keep plugged in and uh every wednesday we got the free meetups happening right now uh you can get more information about that if you sign up down below for the newsletter uh and you can join our free uh, uh support facebook support and we got some stuff coming out here soon i'm gonna be uh we have the new website or the new web design on mucusfreelife.com if you haven't seen that yet you can go there and uh and, and soon we're gonna start doing some things i'm actually gonna start offering some coaching some group coaching sessions and some things are going to be popping off soon. So just make sure you're signed up and you'll hear about all that, those opportunities when they come up, uh, uh, some webinars coming up soon. So we, you know, we're just trying to get this momentum going, uh, you know, really try to, for me, it's always been about the transition to not get overwhelmed, to not try to be, you know, like popular or you get all this, like, you know, too much, too many people coming for the wrong reasons it's like i'm real happy with the community it's been growing the folks is plugged in are really plugged in really dedicated uh consent consistent you know and and, and hanging for a, a, a while you know it's like it's not like here today and then all of a sudden you know the next day there everybody's gone and it's everyone new it's like we got folks that's, that's hanging now and really understanding this process so appreciate that so uh so again, Q, appreciate you, man. Thanks for for tuning for coming in, and uh, and I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you for plugging in and again. Share the video, give us a like, all that good stuff. Uh, appreciate everybody that good comments in the comment section, uh, and uh, and yeah, we, we're gonna transform this planet one bite at a time. So until next time, peace, love, and breath. Thank you.